Hey, it's Ryan Gillard here at Real Broker, your Calgary Realtor. Today I'm in Bridgeland, an area where the historic meets the modern. A fantastic location right close to downtown. Excellent for food lovers and outdoors lovers. And it's one of the best neighborhoods in the entire city. And in this video, I'll explain why. And we're going to get into it right now. Now, before we get into it, my goal this year is to make about two to three videos like this every single week. So if you do like the content, like and subscribe to receive all those notifications as soon as these videos come out. And if you are thinking of buying or selling in the Calgary area, I'd, I'd love to be the one to help you out. I'm easy to get a hold of. All of my information is in the written description below. You can call, text, email, and even comments on the, the YouTube comment section. I will receive it and get back to you. All right, let's talk about Bridgeland. So this is one of the more historic communities in Calgary, one of the oldest areas of the city. And at one point it was the area where you'd see a lot of Italians, Germans, Russians, Ukrainians moving into this area. At one point it was called Little Italy, I believe. And there are still some remnants of that, which I'll get into as we go forward. It's also one of the hot spots of the city where you see a lot of trendy restaurants, cafes, diners, shops, um, great access to a lot of dog parks and uh, walking trails and stuff like that. And it also has convenient access to downtown. You just have to walk right across the bridge into downtown. There's also a C-Train line, um, so easy access to downtown, a great walk score, and one of the most vibrant neighborhoods in Calgary. All right, let's start off with the location of Bridgeland. So I'll zoom out just a little bit here. So here's downtown Calgary. Downtown Calgary right here and Bridgeland is just across the river from downtown to the northeast and that's this section right over here is Bridgeland. So I'll zoom in just a little bit more. So the boundaries are Edmonton Trail is the west boundary. I believe it's 7th Avenue. I could be wrong. There's a giant hill right here separating Renfrew from Bridgeland. I believe it's 7th Avenue and then it'll come all the way over here to Tom Campbell's Hill. This whole section right here is referred to as Bridgeland. And why I like it, it's just a, a very central location, easy access to everything pretty much. So they don't call it Bridgeland for no reason. There are lots of bridges you can see here. One, two, three, four, five. So there's all sorts of bridges around here and you can take them to cross over into downtown. I would say though, from walking from Bridgeland to downtown, it might take you like 15 minutes or so. Um, so it's got a great walkable score, the, the neighborhood. It also has a C train stop in Bridgeland. So right over here is the Bridgeland station. And it's one stop to get to City Hall, which is right over here. So you can either take the C train or walk it, a very, uh, very accessible neighborhood with a great walk score. And uh, some other things of note, uh, the west boundary is, um, is Edmonton Trail, which you can see right here. So there are two busy roads that are in close proximity to Bridgeland, so Edmonton Trail and Center Street. Both of these roads run from the river and they run straight north. And Edmonton Trail ends at McKnight Boulevard over here and Center Street keeps running until the, the deep north part of the city. And all along both of those roads are different uh, you know, grocery stores, shops, services, gas stations, restaurants, pubs, and stuff like that. So you have, you have access to all of that along Edmonton Trail. And in the actual neighborhood itself, there's all sorts of different um, high-rise buildings. There's low-rise buildings. There are shops, restaurants. The main street here is First Avenue, which you can see right here. I'll get into this a bit later on. But this is kind of like the main drag of Bridgeland, where you'll see a lot of the trendy stores and restaurants. Um, other things of note is that the Calgary Zoo is this section right over here. And the Calgary Zoo is one of the better zoos in North America. So if you are in this area, you should definitely check it out. So you can walk there from Bridgeland. So you have easy access to the zoo. Tom Campbell's Hill Natural Park. This is a great spot. Uh, there's a dog park over here. One of the best dog parks I've seen. Excellent views of the downtown. And there are, you know, running paths and stuff like that in this area. So a huge park. Uh, there's also the Telespark Science Center over here. I've actually never been here yet, so I can't comment too much, but it does look pretty cool. That's another amenity in this area that you might want to check out. And the last thing to point out here is you also have easy access to the running trails along the river. So all along the river on both sides of it, it's just a long continuous path, um, excellent for outdoors lovers. It, it connects throughout the entire city. I believe that you could take the path along the Bow River. I think it goes all the way to Banff. You know, I, I could be wrong, but it stretches for a long ways. And so it's a good spot for outdoors lovers as well. 
Next up, let's talk about all the different cool stores in this neighborhood, and there are a lot of them. It was known as Little Italy in the past, and there are still lots of Italian restaurants throughout this neighborhood. I just found two of these on my drive today, La Brezza and La Dolce Vita. I'm not sure if it's La Dolce Vita or La Dolce Vita, but there are other lots of pizza shops as well. So a lot of remaining um, Italian roots in this neighborhood still. And next up is the Bridgeland Market. This is a very interesting place. They have uh, a variety of different things like cheese, charcuterie, gift baskets, flowers, and groceries. And there's also a Blush Lane Organic Market. And there is a wide selection of restaurants here. They're not all Italian. This one, Zephyr and Shy, is a fusion restaurant. And they're all... And next up, we've got Bike and Brew. This place has food, drinks, bicycles, um, bicycle parts, and accessories. Very interesting spot. We've got the Bridgeland Distillery, if you're into spirits. And uh, last up, we've got Doggy Wood. This is a pet uh, accessories store. It looks pretty interesting. And there's a bunch of other ones as well. I just wanted to give you a few highlights of my trip today. And next up, I just want to touch on this middle section over here, this um, green um, square that you can see right here. This uh, Murdoch Park, this is the former site of the Calgary General Hospital. I believe in the late 90s they tore it down and now it's becoming kind of like the, the town square and it uh, has a really cool vibe. There are lots of condos around here, condos, townhouses, lots of rental buildings, lots of um, um, shops and restaurants. you got First Avenue right here. Again, this is the main drag. And this area is becoming heavily built up. And in this park, you've got a skating rink, um, a school playground. You've got fields, uh, people toboggan down these hills in the wintertime. Um, it's just becoming a very interesting, kind of like a town square. Moving along, let's touch on some of the schooling options in the Bridgeland area. So I just pull up the Google Maps and you can see all the red icons. These are different schooling options throughout this part of Calgary. And if you go to the Bridgeland Wikipedia page, they go over all the different um, schooling options for this neighborhood. Um, so starting off with elementary schools, we've got Delta West Academy is a private school. St. Angela School is Catholic and Riverside School is a public elementary school. And uh, for junior high, so this Delta West, they actually uh, cover elementary, junior high and high school. So there's the Delta West, there's the Christine Michael School, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, Michael or Michael and Riverside School. And for high schools, uh, Delta West again covers that, and so does the Christine Michael School is also a junior and a high school. And there's also a lot of um, schools that are that are serving this area that are also just outside of the Bridgeland area. So we've got Stanley Jones Elementary School is a public uh, school in Renfrew, which is the neighborhood just north of Bridgeland. Colonel McLeod Junior High School, also in Renfrew. Crescent Heights High School is in uh, Crescent Heights, obviously. That's the neighborhood just to the west of Bridgeland. St. Alphonsus Junior High School in Renfrew as well. That's a Catholic high school. And St. Mary's High School is in the Mission neighborhood. And last up here, let's touch on some of the real estate market stats, and I'll show you some of the properties as well, just so you get a sense of what, what kind of properties there are here and how much they go for. So the average price in Bridgeland is $554,000. That's a combination of all of these four sectors, detached homes, duplexes, row houses, and apartments. It says no data for semi-detached. That just means there hasn't been any duplex sales recently, but they are around in this neighborhood, but not, not as common as townhouses and apartments. And so let's touch on detached homes first. So the average price, 654700 And I'll just pull up two properties here. So the first one, this one sold for 545000 It's a one-story built in 1936 and uh, 685 square feet. And you'll see a lot of properties in Bridgeland that look just like this. Uh, it is an older neighborhood, and there are plenty of homes that look just like this. And I'll take you through some of the photos here. So a character home that has had, had some renovations, it looks like, um, but still some work that needs to be done. And the next property here, this one sold in the summertime for 756000 It's a two-story built in 1910. 1,261 square feet, two bedrooms, one and a half bathrooms, and it has a single detached garage. And I'll just show you some of the photos here. A lot of properties in this neighborhood look like this as well. So it looks like it's had some work done, like a newer kitchen, and um, so maybe it's been half renovated. Uh, it's hard to say just from the photos, but it uh, looks like a character property. And the last 
uh, property that I'll show you here is the extreme high end in this neighborhood. So this is the highest uh, priced home that I've seen sell in Bridgeland. It went for 1.725 million. Now this is extremely rare. You don't see too many properties that sell this expensive in, in, in Bridgeland. Uh, so it was built in 2012. It's a two story. To, uh, 2,631 square feet, three bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, a walkout basement that's finished, and a double detached garage. And uh, I'll show you some of the photos here. So it looks like it has a nice view of downtown. Uh, pretty nice looking property. And that just gives you kind of the range of what detached homes are selling for in Bridgeland. Now let's take a look at a townhouse in Bridgeland. This one sold for $489.9. Now again, the average price of a townhouse here is about $520. So this one's slightly below the average, but not by much. Now this one was built in 2003. It is 1,278 square feet, three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. And I'll just show you some of the photos here. So nice looking building. And you'll see a whole bunch of townhouses in this area that look kind of like this. So it's a good example to, to, to give you here. And next up, I'll show you what a condo sale looks like. So this one sold on Edmonton Trail for 404300 So a good average price of a condo here. Um, a single level unit, 797 square feet, two bedrooms, two bathrooms. And it has a underground titled parking stall. And I'll just show you some of the photos here. So fairly typical of a condo in Calgary. And that gives you a sense of what the condo will look like in the Bridgeland area. Well, that's my take on the Bridgeland neighborhood. One of the best neighborhoods in the city. It's got a bit of everything for everyone. There's not too much to dislike about it. And if you are out there watching this video and you could use some help, I would like to be the one to help you out. I'm easy to get a hold of. You can uh, you know, send me a text, shoot me an email, give me a call, easy to get a hold of. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next episode.